WASA Streaming Engine 4.3, you are now able to select WASA Streaming Cloud as a stream target in WASA Streaming Engine Manager to allow seamless CDN distribution for your live streams. The Stream Targets feature in WASA Streaming Engine 4.3 has a new option that enables you to deliver transcoded live streaming output renditions as a group from WASA Streaming Engine software to the WASA Streaming Cloud service. This option gives you the ability to shift the transcoding workload from WASA Streaming Cloud to WASA Streaming Engine for media server configurations that have high available bandwidth and sufficient CPU resources. To start off with, we're going to go ahead and log in to WASA Streaming Cloud. We've already logged into our account. We're going to click on Live Streams and click on Add Live Stream. We're going to go ahead and name our live stream and we're going to call this WASA CDN Distribution. And we're going to select a region that's close to where we're streaming from today. So I'm going to go ahead and select US West Oregon. When I click on Next, this is the key of where you can actually set this up. You have to choose WASA Streaming Engine as the originating source for your video content. If you see down here, you have the ability to send one single bit, bit rate stream or multiple bit rate streams. If you send one bit rate stream from WASA Streaming Engine, then WASA Streaming Cloud will ingest that high quality video and then automatically transcode that using a virtual machine in the cloud. If you want to bypass that second step of creating a virtual machine, you can use the multi bit rate stream option. What this will do is you'll do the transcoding at on your local WASA Streaming Engine instance and then send those transcoded renditions to WASA Streaming Cloud bypassing the need for a separate instance running WASA Streaming Engine and delivering it directly to the CDN component of the WASA Streaming Cloud service. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. Now I can choose to set up a player. I'll go ahead and do that for test purposes. I can also set a countdown clock, choose a poster image, and so on. Finally, I'm going to set up a hosted page. And I'm going to choose a logo as well to place on that page. When I click on Next, now all I have to do in Step 5 is confirm all my settings and click on Finish. WASA Streaming Cloud will actually generate a connection code that I can use to in input into WASA Streaming Engine Manager. So let's go ahead and jump back to my local instance of WASA Streaming Engine and set it up in WASA Streaming Engine Manager to configure a push to this WASA Streaming Cloud CDN distribution. I'm going to go ahead and go to my live application and I'm going to go ahead and connect a live camera source. For this demo, I'm going to select an Access IP camera and enter the IP address for that camera. Now when I create this connection, now you can see that network throughput is coming in. I can click on Test Players and preview this stream. And I can see that stream is coming in perfectly from the camera directly to my local instance. Now what I've done is actually enable Transcoder if you need to enable Transcoder, you'll need to restart the live application to then see those transcoded streams. I've gone ahead and selected the TransRate template. Inside that of that template, I've actually selected several different renditions. I have the source rendition, which for this demo is at 720p. I have a 360, 240, and 160p renditions that will also be transcoded. I've already enabled that, and if I come into my incoming streams, I can see those transcoded streams that are being generated from WASA Transcoder on my local instance of WASA Streaming Engine. All I need to do now is configure that all these streams be sent to WASA Streaming Cloud by using the connection code we generated when we created that channel on WASA Streaming Cloud. In order to do that, I need to use the Stream Targets feature. I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Stream Target and select WASA Streaming Cloud. I click on Next and all I need to do now is enter the connection code that was generated by my channel. When I click on Next, the final step here is to configure the target. I'm going to go ahead and call this Access IP Camera. In the source stream name prefix field, I need to enter the name of the stream on my local WASA Streaming Engine instance. Finally, I need to choose a destination server. I'm going to go ahead and select this as primary and click on finish. 
As soon as I click on finish, that stream target will be added. And if I return to that stream targets menu, I can see that that stream target's been created and that it's currently active. So what's happening now is that having entered that connection code, Wowza Streaming Engine intelligently connects to the Wowza Streaming Cloud instance we created, sending those transcoded renditions from my local instance to Wowza Streaming Cloud for CDN delivery across the CDN network on Wowza Streaming Cloud. So now if I come back into incoming streams, I can see these transcoded renditions. Let's jump back over to Wowza Streaming Cloud and see what the playback of that looks like in Wowza Streaming Cloud. If I pull up the hosted page and see the playback of the, these transcoded streams from Wowza Streaming Engine through Wowza Streaming Cloud across the CDN. If I hover over the quality setting here, here I see the four different renditions that are being sent from my local Wowza Streaming Engine instance. This includes the pass-through 720p, the 480, 240, and 160p. By setting up Wowza Streaming Engine to connect to Wowza Streaming Cloud in this way, we're able to use our local resources in our local instance, but yet use the benefit of the Wowza Streaming Cloud CDN distribution. All we would pay for now is the bandwidth that we use for the CDN use on Wowza Streaming Cloud. We don't have a separate virtual machine running that's doing transcoding through the cloud service. So in just a few easy steps, we're able to connect Wowza Streaming Engine through the manager, through the stream targets feature in our live application, connect that to Wowza Streaming Cloud, and set up the CDN distribution very easily.